Hi guys, it's Gemma from Fundamental Sports and Fitness and we're just going to go through a few different plank variations that you can do um, to mix up your routines a little bit um, but again all focusing on the main key principles of a plank that you're thinking about working your whole body, lots of work between your core and your lower back um, and any position that you're in you want that nice straight line between your shoulders, your hips and your heels. Okay, So whether or not you're doing it as a full plank or on your knees a nice straight line so if it's looking at that uh, traditional low plank, you're on your forearms, holding them within that position there. So again, that straight line between shoulders, hips and heels. Okay, now you can then progress and change to a high plank and bringing it up onto your forearms, oh sorry, up onto your hands and from your forearms. And again, as you're holding that position, make sure your hands are under your shoulders and your head is in front of your hands. Okay. That again keeps your shoulders, hips and heels all in a straight line. Now to switch it up a little bit, you can do a plank facing the other way. Okay, it's got a supine plank. So you're holding from in that position there. So again, you notice a nice straight line within my body. Okay, bum squeeze to keep my hips nice and high. Okay. We've got a spider man plank, and I quite used to like using this one um, if we're looking at opening your hips up a little bit, creating a bit more movement and mobility. So again, holding your low plank position, taking your leg out round to the side and back down. So leg out and round and back down. All the time holding that nice low plank. Okay, another version you've got is a rocking plank, so it's just having a little bit of momentum. Um, to your plank, so into your low plank position and then slowly just tip forward from your toes and then back. Okay, and that is a rocking plank. Um, we've got a plank where you can slowly um, lift your legs in a nice controlled uh, manner. So you can either do this on your forearms or holding that high position. So it's the high position, we're up here, head in front of your hands, slowly lifting your legs up or drop it down and those slow taps again, keeping your body in that nice straight line. So everything there is working very centrally down the middle. Um, we can then add in uh, some side planks, working your obliques down the side and again looking at that hip strength um, and glute strength that you're wanting. So from your position on your side, you're on your, um, your arms is going straight down from your shoulder, okay, hips raised, okay, feet on top, you can then always put your arm in the air for that extra little bit of balance, okay, from that position. If once you've been holding that side plank, whatever you do, make sure you do it on the other side. But you could always then make it a little bit harder by adding in a rotation. Okay, to really challenge um, and get your core engaged throughout the whole movement. Any rotational movement will do that. Okay, so there's a few different um, planks that you can try and add into your training routine.